Praise the Lord. We're glad you've joined us on this Thursday morning uh, for our Daily with God devotion this morning. Uh, Pastor Larry Allison here, uh, Gospelite Free Will Baptist Church in Bonterra. We're sure glad you joined us today. Those of you that are reading through the Bible with us, uh, today's Bible reading would be Genesis chapter 3, 34 and 35, Genesis chapter 33, 34, 35, uh, and then also in the New Testament reading would be Matthew chapter 10, the first 20 verses. Matthew chapter 10, the first 20 verses. I'm going to give you the scriptures daily that you need to keep up with as we read the Bible through this year. And I hope, listen, I hope many of you uh, have taken the challenge and you're actually doing that with us. I think it's going to be a blessing as we go through the Bible this year. A lot of our devotions are going to be on that day's scriptures that we've looked at. Um, so, uh, in fact, today is Matthew, uh, uh, the book of Genesis, excuse me, Genesis 35, Genesis 35, uh, verse the first three verses. Uh, title of today's devotion, Back to Bethel. Back to Bethel. Uh, while you're turning there, uh, I, I think I might just say this. We're absolutely uh, living in a nation in chaos this morning. Uh, we're living in a divided nation. Um, a nation divided cannot stand. Um, Jesus said that. Uh, and, and listen, uh, a nation divided cannot stand. A house divided cannot stand. A church divided cannot stand. Listen, that's just a Bible principle, and it always holds true, and you will always reap what you've sown. Uh, today, we're in a divided nation. What will it take to heal this nation? Man, I've, I've, I don't know if you've watched a lot of the things on the Internet uh, this, this week, the last week or so. Uh, I mean, there's all kinds of theories. There's all kinds of things being said. Some of them are, I mean, out of this world, unbelievable. And uh, I, you, you might say, what do you think of all that, preacher? I absolutely can tell you this. I am not, I'm not prophetic, so I can't tell you what's going to happen. Um, and, and I absolutely don't know what's true and what's false, so I can't tell you what's going to happen. But I can do the safe thing. And I can tell you this. People need the Lord today. Can I get an amen? Uh, we, we don't need to worry about this way or that way. Uh, listen, we need God today. <clears throat> we need God on the throne of our heart. No matter what happens, we need to love the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and I mean, uh, love him and put him first in our life, first in our home, first in our church. And, uh, and whatever we have to deal with, you know what, church? We'll deal with it. We'll press on. We'll give God all the glory we can every chance we get. And uh, let's stay close to the cross. Let's stay close to Christ. Let's stay close to each other, okay? And we can do that. You know what some folks need to do? Hey, excuse me. Some folks just need to go back to Bethel, and that's what we're looking at this morning, back to Bethel, to the place where uh, they get in, into that close relationship with God himself. Look at it, Genesis 35, first three verses, and God said unto Jacob, arise, go up to Bethel and dwell there and make there an altar unto God. And what are we going to do at Bethel? Man, we're going to worship and get close to God. Amen? And that appeared unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of Esau, thy brother. Then Jacob said unto his household, and to all that were with him, put away the strange gods that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments. And let us arise, and go up to Bethel. And I will make there an altar unto God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. This is the Lord literally calling uh, him back to Bethel. Remember, it's been many, many years now uh, since Jacob had been at Bethel. Back then, he was fleeing for his life. His brother Esau literally wanted to murder him, so he runs for his life. And he runs over to the country of Uncle uh, Laban, and he gets over there, and he begins to work for him. And you know what? But by the way, it's when he's running away from Esau, that first night away from home, 
That's when he spent that night there. Remember, just two days ago, our devotion, uh, there was the ladder to heaven. That's when he had that dream about the ladder to heaven and the angels ascending and descending uh, upon that. And it was there that Jacob made a vow to God. From there, Jacob goes to Haran. He begins a family working with Uncle Laban. Uh, now he's got quite a family. And you know what? Jacob is now ready to return uh, home. He's, he's went back toward home already. He has already met Esau. He has sent him many, many gifts ahead of himself. And you know what? Esau forgave his brother Jacob for the deceit uh, that had went on. And finally, he's going back. And now God, in this, in this chapter, God is calling Jacob back to Bethel. Uh, it just seems like that's uh, that place. Hey, come up to Bethel. Uh, man, we're not going down away. We're coming up closer, okay? And he's calling him up to Bethel. And it's there he's going to build an altar to God. It's there there's going to be some things reaffirmed and reestablished. And uh, listen, I, for, for Jacob, what does this mean for Jacob? Here's what I believe it means. He's been away a long time. And I, I believe this is Jacob's fresh start. I believe this is his new start uh, really in life, if you will. Um, but you know, on the way back when they left uh, uh, Laban, uh, Rachel had taken her father's idols. <clears throat> Obviously, she still had them with her because there was some idol worship going on. Uh, so now as he goes back to Bethel, not only, is he going, not only is he getting back to a place for a fresh start in a new commitment, you know what? He's got to get sin out of the house too. It's time to get sin out of the camp. Hey, if you're going to live for God, get sin out of the camp, right? And so as he goes back to Bethel, uh, we find here, notice, he starts, I believe it's from this point on, Jacob really starts living for God again. He had to go back to Bethel, that fresh start, that new beginning, that new commitment to serve the God of heaven. Now, with all of that in mind, let's read it again, just them three verses. They're great verses. God said unto Jacob, Arise, get up to Bethel, dwell there. Make there an altar unto God that appeared unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother. And then Jacob said unto his household, and all that were with him, listen to this, put away the strange gods that are among you. Now, let's be honest. He should have already took care of that a long time ago. But obviously he has allowed these strange gods uh, among his family. And now he literally tells them, put away the strange gods that are among you, and be clean. Hey, time to clean up. Time to get cleansed. Change your garments. And then notice what he says in verse 3. I like this. And let us arise and go up to Bethel. Hey, if you're going to get up and go somewhere, it's a decision. It's a choice. He said, it's time for us to put away the strange gods and get up. And let's go back to God. <laughs> time for a fresh start. Hey, let's clean up and change our clothes. And let us arise and go up to Bethel, and I will make there an altar unto God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. So what do we really get out of this? I just believe it's really Jacob's fresh start in life. He, he's back home. Uh, he's got his family with him. And you know what? It's time to serve the Lord. It's time to get back up to Bethel. Get up, and let's get back with God. And there could be some of you watching this morning, and uh, there's really some good application here. It might be that wherever you're at is not where you need to be with the Lord. It might be that you've got away from the Lord. It might be that you've got away uh, from from being what you once was for the Lord, and backslid, or you've got cold and indifferent, or calloused, and... Uh, for whatever reason, you're just not as close to God as you ought to be. You know what you really need to make a choice to do today? Listen to me. Why, it's time to get up and clean up and go back up to Bethel. Hey, get forgiven of sin. Get sin out of the camp. Get your heart right with God. Go back to Bethel. It's t you know what? I mean, uh, January 1st is several days behind us already. This would have been a good New Year's Eve message 
But you know what? It's not too late to have a new beginning and a fresh start. And if you'll get back up to Bethel, you can, you can build there an altar to God in your heart and recommit yourself and rededicate yourself to the will of God. And you know what? It's right there. God can give you that fresh start. I mean, clean hands and a pure heart and a right spirit. Get forgiven of your sin. Make some fresh commitments. And hey, get your house in order and let's serve the Lord. Can I get an amen? It's time to go back up to Bethel and get close to the God of heaven. I mean, as I've said, America is in chaos. America is absolutely a divided nation. Man, I'll tell you what, America needs God. And you know what? And you need God this morning. We need the Lord. Let's get back up to Bethel and get close to God again. Lord bless you today. Hey, you that are reading the Bible through with us, here's your scriptures for in the morning. Uh, okay? In the morning. Genesis chapter 36, 37, and 38. In Matthew chapter 10, verses 21 through 42. Genesis 36, 37, and 38. In Matthew chapter 10, verses 21 through 42. Okay? So, listen, you have a good Thursday. Lord bless you. I hope you have a good day. Have a prayer with me this morning. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray your blessing upon everyone that's watching this right now. Lord, we've we've gathered together, even in this way, just to worship you, just to meditate on the things of God, just to look at Scripture. And Lord, I pray today, Lord bless you. I hope you have a good day. Have a prayer with me this morning. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray your blessing upon everyone that's watching this right now. Lord, we've we've gathered together even in this way, just to worship you, just to meditate on the things of God, just to look at Scripture. And Lord, I pray today, Lord bless you. I hope you have a good day. Have a prayer with me this morning. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray your blessing upon everyone that's watching this right now. Even in this, just to worship you, just meditate.